founder of Q is a good friend of mine, Jeremy Berman. I joined the company as an artist and a co-owner in 2012. So we've been doing this together for a few years. So we have uh, mahogany poplar, mahogany shells, and some maple re-rings. And this is pretty much what I use at all times to sum it up, bottom sizes. Okay, 26, 14, 16, 18. Snares will always be metal. This is um, our Copper Gentleman series drum. We use Zildjian cymbals. Um, I've recently switched over to these um, Avidus ones. Avidus, I've heard them pronounced both ways. I'm gonna go with Avidus. This is my setup that never changes. The augmented version of this setup is where these electronics come into play. So, for example, as you can see, I have two pads on either side. I have an auxiliary kick pedal, which is a Roland KD7, right next to my bass drum, and we have two Roland triggers on the kick and snare. All the electronic stuff on the kit changes from song to song. So we'll get program changes every song in these sounds, if there are any, change. So I'll be playing drums, and let's say Closer comes up in the set list. So something like this. Bring in the hi-hat. I'll help sing the backups here, the harmony. And once this part ends, we'll get into the chorus. A song that most Nine Inch Nails fans would know is um, Terrible Eye, and I think that's a good example of a very subtle um, use of the pads alongside the acoustic drum set. Also here, there's a sample on the acoustic snare and the bass drum as well. And like I said, these pads always change. And that's something that always keeps it exciting and, and different. I don't get to do that with any other band. It makes it really fun. You know, I could be triggering samples that are more ambient. I mean, because as you can imagine, with the intricacy of Nine Inch Nails recordings, they could be a snare drum that's actually comprised of three different drums. So on Reptile, for example, I have the acoustic snare, a trigger snare and another sample that I'm actually, I'm hitting at the same time. And that's creating these three sounds that are making this enormous snare drum. So those are things that are very exciting. And another thing I love about playing with Nine Inch Nails is that I do get to get up off the drums and play some piano, occasionally some bass, maybe even a guitar, and um, get to do some, some backup vocals. I'll get my Roger Taylor on over here and <laughs> occasionally sing something. So there are a lot of things going on that keep it exciting. 